Hi guys, Samuel here. Welcome back to another video. I hope you had a great holiday and spent some time with your family. Now it's time to go back to work. I know it sucks, but hey, at least you got yourself a new camera, right? <laughs> so if that is you and you got the X100F, then this video is for you. So the camera is all new and shiny and you took some nice family pictures already. But now is the time to go out on the street to make some street photography. So today I want to show you my street photography settings, show you how I set my camera up, the way I shoot, all the quick menu settings and so on. Keep in mind that my shooting style may be different than yours, uh, but hopefully this will give you an idea on how to set up your camera to shoot street. So let's go. The first thing I do on every new camera is to turn off uh, the sounds and uh, mainly the AF beep sound, you know, this beep when you focus and that's really annoying and I don't want that. So let's go into the menu and I show you, I think I already have it set up. So here at uh, go to the wrench sound setup and as you can see I turned everything off and even the playback volume for video. If I'm on the street, I really don't want to make any noise, so... So another really important setting to change is the AF Illuminator. You will find it here. And this is the light on front of the camera that will help you focus in dark areas and low light situations. But let's say you are in the subway and you want to shoot uh, this nice uh, candid picture of someone reading in the subway and then you press the autofocus and then uh, you will flash a light and this person will notice you and the moment is gone. So let's turn that off. Next I would recommend to shoot RAW plus JPEG, go into the image quality settings and choose Fine plus RAW. Um, I'm really happy with the JPEGs, but sometimes I want to do more editing and then I need the RAW file. So this is a good way to have a backup file and a nice JPEG file. And here the RAW recording, um, you have two options to how big you want your RAW files to be. You can have an uncompressed version, which is really huge, or you can choose the lossless compressed uh, RAW. What I heard is that there are not much differences between these two, but the file size will drop significantly uh, with this one. Basically back button focus uh, means that I turn my camera here on manual, manual focus only, but I use this button to focus. And when I shot with the Canon 5D, I always I also had my back button focus here. So this is for me really natural to do this, focus and shoot, let go and wait for the right moment to shoot again. This button here, the right on the D-pad, I set this to switch between the different shutters. So the X100F has an electronic shutter and a mechanical shutter. As you can see here, this is the electronic shutter and this is really quiet, you cannot hear any noise. This is really handy if you're shooting in a concert, for example, or somewhere where you don't want to make any noise. No? And next to the on-off switch, we have a function button. I think at default, there's nothing uh, set to this button, but I set this button to activate the flash setting. So if I want to use flash, I can go in here and change it to TTL, uh, manual, and so on. So on the front of the camera, I have the, um, the switch for the OVF and electronical viewfinder. It is also a button in case you didn't know that. And if I press it, I will get uh, my self timer settings. So sometimes I want to shoot a group picture where I also want to be in the picture. So I just press this button and now I can set it to 10 seconds, for example. So let me show you now how to configure your buttons. You usually go into the menu and what you do is go to the wrench and I think it is, oops, button dial settings. And then here you have function settings. And here you can see all the buttons you can change and customize. Another way to do it is to just long press on any button 
and then you can customize the button from there. So let's say I want to customize this button here. I long press it, wait, and as you can see now, I can change it to something else. Uh, next, let me show you my display settings. Go to the wrench, screen setup. And as you can see, I changed quite a bit. And that is because um, the EVF is nice and, and so on, but the colors are too saturated for my taste. I think they are a bit oversaturated. They, are, they don't look exactly like the picture I'm getting. So I changed the saturation to minus three. And in my view, this gives me a more accurate uh, representation. And also I turn the EVF brightness uh, to plus one. Yeah, I just like it to be a bit brighter than uh, default. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention image display, definitely turn that off. We don't want to be this guy here who chimps at every picture he takes and misses this important moment. On the street, you want to be fast and don't lose focus on your subject. So shoot first and check your images later. Uh, also on the screen settings, you can change, um, where was it? display custom settings yeah here so you can also change what informations you want to be shown in the EVF and in the OVF and what I did is I turn off everything I don't need so I only have the focus frame the manual focus distance indicator for uh, zone focusing the histogram uh, yeah and as you can see I turned off quite a bit but this gives me a really nice, um, simple, minimal OVF. So let me quickly show you how I use this camera for street photography. So usually I will have it around my neck and it's turned off the whole time. Uh, but when I want to shoot, I set my shutter speed and my aperture and then I turn on my camera. So it's on now and I, I only use the EVF and sometimes I will use the LCD if I have to get low. But most of the time it's just the EVF. So I shoot almost everything manually but except for the ISO. And because I don't like uh, this ISO die here, because it's really slow. You can see here, I cannot really change my ISO really fast. So I have it on auto. And thankfully, Fujifilm lets us change the ISO with this dial here. So I use this for ISO now. So most of the time I shoot auto ISO, so it's on 6400. And if I want to control it manually, I just turn the dial and go down or up. Uh, let me show you my custom settings. I have exactly three set up. So C1 is my go-to for color. It's um, film simulation Astia and I just have my sharpness plus two. And this is for everything that is color, uh, family portraits or uh, events and stuff like that. My second custom setting is across black and white. I use this mainly for street photography. So it's black and white, sharpness plus two again, and everything else is at default. And then I have my C3 um, set for video. So um, Astia again, but this time sharpness minus four, highlights and shadows minus two. Because for video, I want to have a flat looking image that I can grade and edit in post. Now I will show you how you can create your own custom settings. Let's say um, you want to shoot black and white. So we set our film simulation to uh, black and white, let's say across. Then um, we want to change uh, our highlight tones and then we go here to uh, highlight tones, let's say plus two and so on. Um, now we are happy with our settings and we want to save it. Just go into the queue menu and uh, this, these are the settings that I just uh, changed. So I long press now this Q button and this comes up. Now you can save it to uh, any custom number you want. So let's say we want to save it to custom six. Okay, and then you can see here, 
if I press save current settings, it changes. So now go back and confirm, okay, and it's saved. So if I go into the Q menu and go to the C6, there are now my settings saved. So every time you turn on your camera, you can now come back to these settings you made. So there you have it. These are my settings. This is how I shoot street with this camera. Hopefully this was helpful to you and this gave you some ideas. If not, or if you missed something, please let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to Fujifilm and street photography, this channel is all about that. So stay tuned, subscribe and looking forward to see you in the next one.